Hi, dear viewers. This is Arash Kamali with another session of website programming course on the Python programming language and the Django framework. If you remember well, in the previous session, we made our form page to get a news title, a summary, and the main body of the news. We don't have the uploading of the news image yet. We have added three static categories, and there is the date and the writer that we need to work on. These sections have not been done yet. Uh, they are not still complete, and we are going to gradually complete them. Alright, uh, the first thing that I need to mention is that we have a system called Forms in Django uh, through which uh, we will be able, we can, uh, so that we can add and edit the data uh, but uh, we are not going to use it yet, we are going to add our own admin without using the Forms and we are only going to use it over here uh, to use this technique, we use the form. If you pay attention, the items that we added all had a form tag. That is, all of them were in an open close form tag. Through this form, we send the data outside, that is, and uh, opposite of what we did uh, with the news, opposite of what we did with the news that we sent from views to template. Now using the dashboard, we send a series of data from our view to template, from our template to the view, and then save them or do whatever we want with them. All right, and to do so, the first thing we need to do, as we said, our dropdown returns the values to access these values uh, for each element on the list we need to set the name uh, so that uh, through that specific name uh, we can have access to those values so the first step would be to correct the names I have an input of text type that is my news title I set an ID for it uh, for instance, called the ID is called news title and name news. Well, title we said the name, we said the same ID and name. Here it has an ID and name. I change it to news cat. Well, name would be news cat that is after that uh, we go for let's see our uh, summary explanation we set it an id for instance news txt short and a name all right that's it uh, we use the same name and for the main body of the news we set an id for instance news txt and name also would be news txt is that right you get it i said non-identical and non-repeated names for each and every one of the elements of the form but here is one point that you should uh, heed uh, for this button that you set here in order for it to send the form it needs to be of submit type so pay attention to this point our button should be of submit type to send your forms all right now where is my form being submitted to let's see and how is it being submitted as you see there are two sections one is this part that is the action of my form where you say to which url or function your form needs to be submitted all right for instance i say to the function news add or anything else so if we define in the function where to the form where to the form needs to be submitted and uh, on the next section i need to say which method it should use we have two methods one is the post and one is get uh, that sends the data for us 
uh, you can do some search to know about their advantages and disadvantages uh, advantages to put it briefly the post method is more secure and it works better with the shorter data okay uh, and we are going to use the post method but uh, you just need to use instead of the word post uh, the word get in order to be able to use the get method but we suggest you use the post method in type uh, in type is also another section of our form in type is used when we want to upload something uh, although we still have not added and uploaded uh, any section uh, but because we will eventually do that we need to activate is in type it won't do any harms if you add these uh, form dash data now in this form that there is no upload section and you won't want that so all in all you need to add them to all forms so that if we wanted to use the upload we won't be missing anything all right and this is this part that is used for my appearance and this uh, unsubmit section over here on submit equals false needs to be removed because it has been used for demo and in it uh, it has been uh, it has returned false but i no longer want it to return false i want the data to be sent uh, uh, the first thing i need to do i want uh, when the data buttons are hit they will be sent to the news underline add that's where the data would be going uh, at first uh, what i do is uh, i correct uh, the action all right i say action i use the url now well uh, url where should it connect to to the name of my function what is the name of my function news underline add now when i click my form the function news underline add will be imported and it will run later on using the post method for getting the data this method is important for me okay right now i just want to test it i still don't want to receive any data from my fills i just want to see if my view will be imported or not if the function works properly or not to test i write a print command print ok in large numbers so that i see it now if i hit the button and my function is imported correctly for me uh, in the terminal i would be able to see the message all right let's check i refresh the add page once and hit the submit button okay we got an error this is a very important error i let it happen intentionally to explain it to you we have a topic called csrf okay token in django that needs to be applied in all of our forms we need to copy csrf2 and uh, in our form set it in our html that is after the for tag over here we need to add csrf on the line token so what is it it is a token a special code that is sent to our template from our form and when our form is returning from template to the back end and view of our site these codes need to get back exactly as they are what is it used for uh, it is used for the forms in Django so that no one else would be able to access to the URL panels news or slash and using them he may know that I have used the post method and these are the names of my fields he will be able to give this request to my URL and save some data on my database if from somewhere else using the post message these fields are sent to my link using the post message my thought would not accept them why because it requires the csrf token csrf token needs to be sent the csrf token that has been sent when the view 
has run for the first time and has opened the add page has been placed on my template and when it is returning the forms it needs to be sent and get back to the view so this circle is for security that we add before our form so that a token is given and taken from the form so that no one will be able to send data on this link now I refresh the page now you see the OK OK has been printed right now I want to see the OK again now if you check you will be able to see the OK again now I add some space to make sure the button is working properly and I hit the submit again and OK is printed again whenever I hit the OK this process is done and repeated uh, this form date that was using the post message are being sent to my view I can either use them or not but using this button the my, my forms is being sent to my view properly without any special problems